Hi you guys, happy new year. I hope uh, this year is a good one for you. I hope it's a good one for me too. Um, today I wanted to come on here and just talk about uh, the demon torment that I go through. Uh, I haven't found a lot of videos out there where t people talk about being tormented by demon spirits. So, um, I know it helps me whenever I do find somebody who is going through the same experience. Um, so, I just, uh, and for the, uh, for the, somebody commented on, on one of my videos asking what it feels like, which is really hard to describe, but I'm going to do my best. So, uh, that's been, like, that question has been heavy on my heart for, like, I think, like, a month now. And so, um, I wanted to come on here and kind of talk about that. So, if you guys don't know my story, um, how I ended up being tormented by demons is, is because, when I was living in, in sexual immorality, I didn't understand, um, I didn't know the Bible, I never read the Bible, I, um, I thought all people go to heaven, that I could sin, and, you know, it was okay, I didn't, I was really blinded by Satan, and, um, I don't know how it ended up happening, but somehow it got in my head to, uh, look up a video on YouTube, to invoke um, sex demons. I was twisted in my head. God has um, really changed me completely. I'm a new creation, creation in Christ now. I am not into that stuff. I, I do not have sexual immorality in my life. And I read the Bible now. And I know that there's a spirit realm and that there is a real living God and that there is a real enemy that we cannot see, but I have felt. And um, so yeah, I, that's, uh, how I ended up getting tormented by spirits was by opening the door, door wide open. So that night <laughs> changed my quality of life. I hope not forever. I hope one day God will set me free from this. But that night, um, when I watched please first of all please don't go and and type in anything about sex demons because it's real and i'm telling you once you open that door no matter how much you cry to god it will get better god will help you if you turn from sin and stuff but i'm telling you it's hell on earth and it's real so please please don't get any ideas and go and try to look this stuff up so um I, um, I played a video on YouTube, and I didn't see anything. All I saw was a candle flickering, and I heard this monstrous voice speaking in demonic tongues. It sounded like a demon speaking in tongues. So I think the person that did it was a Satanist. I think, I think they invoked demons, and then they recorded them speaking in those tongues. And, um, they put it out there for people, you know, like me, stupid old me at the time. And, um, yeah. So, anyways, all I did was listen to that for like 30 seconds and then I turned it off. And that same night I went to the grocery store. And when I was going to get out of the car, a demon came and attached to me down there. So, these demons would... This is not for kids. This video is not for kids. Please, if you're under 18, to turn this video off. Seriously. So, uh, they would cause sexual arousal and orgasm after orgasm after orgasm. And, um... It got to be so much that it was not... It was not enjoyable. It was torment. And then, um, I, uh, didn't know Christ very well at the time, <laughs> and I, I didn't, I didn't know Christ actually at all, and, uh, I, I, soon after that turned to Christ, and, um, uh, he's been delivering me slowly, but surely it is so slow, 
but I praise God that it's not like it used to be wherever I used to go whether it was a store or like wherever I was the demons would attach to me and it would cause a lot of anxiety in me and um, I hated it and I would tell them to leave but they wouldn't leave and um, you know they say there's power in the name of Jesus that didn't work for me and um, it was hard but I would pray and um, you know, after a little while, they would go away, and, um, it was, it was hard, it was really hard to live like this, and now, it's just mostly, uh, when I, well, when I lay down in my bed, every now and then, when I'm in a chair in my living room, I can kind of feel something, so I'll just move to the other chair, but for the most part, it's just when I go to my bed, but even that is a lot less, like, they don't come very often now and but but what I do have when they do come is and I and it doesn't go away like I, I can't get it to go away except for through prayer and fasting that 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 help, relieves it a little little bit but it's still really bad but I've got a lot of a pressure in my head it's and somebody asks what it feels like so it, it's really hard to describe it's supernatural there is an entity inside of me in the middle of me in the middle of my flesh and 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 i can feel it in the back of my neck like the muscles in my body like it makes it super tight and and it hurts and it move it it doesn't move around so much. Actually, last night it was really bad. Really bad. I was crying out to God and it was just really bad. It hurt really bad. So, uh, I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> I started praising God. I'm like, I love you, God. I know you love me. I don't know why this is happening, but I love you. So, I prayed. I, I worshipped God. I was singing worship songs. And, um it started moving around it started getting it started tormenting me worse it was it, it didn't like that it responded the entity inside of my flesh responded to the to me worshiping god my my phone is going out it has no space and it's only going to record for another 30 seconds so i'll say what i can and maybe i'll make a part two maybe not but um there's something physically inside my body. I can feel it. Like, I can feel pressure pressure and um, tightness. Um, and uh, sometimes the demons will come when I'm laying on my bed. And I can feel them uh, inside of my stomach. They, it's, it's as if I had a baby in there, but I don't. And it, it moves and constricts my stomach. It moves around and tightens my stomach. It's really weird really weird so don't mess around with spirits um you will be tormented by them <laughs> and like i love god i turned away from sin but i'm still being tormented it's my fault i got a feeling i shouldn't do that when i did but i did it so my phone's going out i hope this helps somebody out there keep